Hey everybody, Dr. Nick here with another public sexual announcement for you on June the 16th, 2022. And I hope you all are having a great day out there. And yes, I'm finally feeling a little bit better. Whatever was in my system is finally gone now and my voice is finally back, so I'm ready to go. So this PSA is going to be a little bit different than some of the others. This one is a follow-up. A few years ago, I did a podcast on something called the Flatio Cafe. And basically, it's a blowjob cafe located somewhere overseas. And I wasn't sure if it was up or running yet, so I decided just to do a little bit of digging. And I found out some pretty interesting things about this cafe. And for starters, its tagline is this. It's the most expensive cup of coffee in Europe. So let's get started. To get this PSA started, I need you to help me out just a little bit. Please imagine that you're sitting over in a cafe in Switzerland, for example, and you're eating a Danish or whatever, and you have a thought to yourself, you know what, I really could use a blowjob right about now. So what you do is you go over to the bar, you pick up an iPad, you order some more coffee, and at the same time you request a quote unquote hostess who will bring the coffee over to you. And then apparently she will get down on her knees and service you while you drink your coffee and service you in front of everyone else who also is sitting at the bar with you. And apparently this cup of coffee just cost you around 60 US dollars. Well, after doing a bit more digging, I happened to learn a few things. For example, cafes like this have been around in Thailand for decades already. And more recently, cafes are starting to show up inside swingers clubs in France and in England. So I went to the Flacio Cafe website, www.flacio-cafe.com, and I was trying to find an actual address or location of this cafe, but I didn't really find anything. So after I did a bit more clicking, I happened to find something else. I found something called Club Delicious, and this is located in, in Geneva, Switzerland. And it, apparently it's, it's their biggest erotic club ever. So within this club, there are s &M rooms, there's a, there's a sauna, there's a jacuzzi, there's a billiards room, a huge dance floor so you can go and actually dance, have a good time. And apparently within this club, there's a bar called Cafe Peep. And yes, that's the worst French accent you'll ever hear in your life. And just like the Fellatio Cafe, you can receive services there for around 65 US dollars. So yes, it seems like there is some sort of open and functioning Felicio Cafe. And apparently it seems to be doing pretty well over there. So if you really want to have this experience, get yourself over to Switzerland and have a good time. And from my understanding, they were supposed to open up a second site over in London but I don't think that one ever got off the ground for whatever reason. And finally, this last point has to do with equality. So what about the women? Why can't there be some sort of cunnilingus cafe? You feel me? It doesn't make any sense. Come on now, it's 2022, get your shit together, and the women should also have their own cafe, period. So in closing out this PSA, I just want to leave you with a quick thought. And I believe that the Felicio Cafe may sound better on paper than it does in reality. Because if you think about it, if your partner is really good at giving you a blowjob, like you might just start spilling your coffee on top of their head, you're going to burn them or whatever. Unless it's iced coffee, that's okay. But it can get messy really quickly. So it's just something for you to think about. So on that note, I'm out. Stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon.